it was not Elijah, but this man called down physical fire. They said his name is Ayo Babalola. Joseph Ayo Babalola. Joseph. Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues. Kayanos, fresh tongues. Rivers. Many of you have drunk only one river. Meanwhile, the scripture said, Rivers. You will drink another river. Kayanos from your belly. Kayanos from your belly. Kayanos. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos. I don't care whether you believe it or not. Prayer is sweet. I found out. Ah, what have I been doing with my life? So prayer is this sweet and, I, and I've been running away. That guy doesn't believe me. He's wondering with all this labor and struggle, how can somebody say prayer is sweet? I used to be like you. Until I found the depth in prayer. There are depths. Don't stay on shallow places. Dive. Dive in. Let the river carry you. I want to be carried. 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 In Jesus' name, listen. I used to struggle with 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I will pray. And then I will check my time. It's only five minutes that passed. I say, what is this? I will start praying. I will check. It's only check. It's only two minutes that passed. Until God mercifully from heaven baptized me with the spirit of prayer. Then my life changed. Give me the garment. Garment of prayer. Garment of prayer. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Hey! Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Rest on me. So the nations we pray because I'm praying. Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, come into prayer. Come, 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 come. Shush. Yeah. Shush. Oh, come into prayer. Come, 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 come. Jesus, listen. I'm so happy. I'm so full of joy. I don't know what's happening. Anytime they say, let's pray. The kind of joy that possesses me. That's how I can last 24 hours. You, you are laboring in the flesh. Laboring in the flesh. I labor, but it's not in the flesh. There is labor, but it's not in the flesh. I am carried. Lord, if you need to pray, Lord, even if it's once in let me break this barrier of prayer. There is there is a prayer barrier that many of you are carrying. It's not as if you don't pray at all, but there is a barrier you have never broken in prayer. In the next few minutes that we are going to pray in this in this meeting, you are going to break the barrier. What you don't know is that a generation depends on your prayer. Whether they are aware or not, it doesn't matter. 
Whether they believe it or not, it doesn't matter. When you pray for your family members, nobody can reject prayer. They can reject your gift and money, but they can't reject your prayer. Nobody can reject your prayer. They can reject many things, but not prayer. They, they can reject your watermelon, but they can't reject your prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Shush! Ephesians chapter 4 The man that saw somebody go to the, the bush, the farm And did farm work from morning till evening When he sees somebody praying like this He will think that him went to labor The man that prayed actually labored more than the person that went to farm. That's what you don't know. That's how we crack heavy things. Bear it on our backs. Carry it and journey to the mountains. Heavy things. There is a way you groan and travail. You become heavy in the spirit. When they throw you on the scales, you were heavy. I feel fire. I feel that is Jesus. I'm not normal. Oh. Justice. I'm not normal. Justice. I'm not normal. Justice. I don't want to be normal. Justice. Say. Fatalia. Palace. Sayas. Jesus, the son of David. Jesus, the son of David. Jesus, the son of David. We beg on you. Jesus, the son of David. Jesus, the son of David. Jesus, thou son of David. Jesus, thou son of David. We beckon on you. In Jesus' name, listen. Show me verse 27. If God brought you here, then there is, there is an emergency that is declared on your destiny. That's what many of you don't know. You are just moving normal, normal. It's an emergency situation. 24 hours is the emergency word of the Holy Ghost. 24 hours is the intensive care unit. God has tried every means to bring you to the weightiness of your destiny. It's not working. So he wants to throw you inside it. <laughs> Similarly, there's emergency. Oh. That is emergency that is declared on your destiny. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh my God. Listen to me. I see so many angels everywhere. They are carrying garments. But it seems as if there are not many people that want to get the garment. They are just holding it, looking around, looking around. Looking around. Wait, it's not, don't lift your hands. Bring down your hands. I didn't say you should lift your hands. You are going to labor. <laughs> that, that's how to declare interest. How do you declare interest? How do you declare interest? How do you declare interest? Listen to me. There is no food for the lazy man. I will prove it with the scripture, then I will come down now. Remember that the title of this meeting is Victuals. It is the meal a man eats so that he can journey through tough seasons. But I've found out that there is no food for a lazy man. There, mm, there is no food for you. There is no plan for you. Since you don't want to labor, 
Go to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor there is no fool for a lazy man. It is both true physically and even more true spiritually. Let me read it from the scripture. Look at it. Verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. 28. 28. Let, let him that stole what? Steal no more. But rather, let him what? I didn't hear you. Let him what? Let him what? I put it to you that many believers is living on stolen food. They have never, never ever labored for anything in their work with God. They are moving up and down looking for impartation. Eh? Looking for tapping anointing, impartation. They have never labored. There is nothing in their life that came as a result of spiritual labor. So the Bible said today, the spiritual police of heaven have caught you. They arrested you. And they said that you are an armed robber. They caught you. They now say, let him that steal what? Steal no more. Turn to your neighbor three times. Tell the person, let him that steal, steal no more. Again. Again. So since you will not steal again, what are you going to do? Say after me, labor. I didn't hear you. Seven times. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Let him that steal what? What should he do? Let him that steal what? Okay, maybe he gave me the handkerchief to clean my face. Is it to clean my face? Okay, he said it's to clean my face. <laughs> Whichever one it is, listen to me. I know you believe that the meal that Elijah ate came by coincidence. See that everybody doesn't have access to that meal. If it is by coincidence, why is it that everybody is not eating it? We are in the kitchen of the Holy Ghost. And what we are cooking is burden. And when burden is done, we feast on it. That's what can sustain us. When the angel touched Elijah, he said, he said, wake up and eat. For the journey is, is not far. He said, great. The journey is tempestuous. The journey is far. The journey is brutal. The journey is draining. Only men that ate well can survive. Sotima, it's time to eat. Sotima, it's time to eat. Sotima, it's time to eat. The journey is far. The journey is great. Are you ready to eat? So that you will not fall, out, fall, fall on the wayside. The men that fell on the wayside, they didn't eat well. They didn't eat well. Ask your neighbor, I know you ate something, but it's time to eat well. Without labor, there will be no food. I heard a story. I heard a story about a man. The story about the man is looking like as if it is impossible. It was not Elijah, but this man called down physical fire. They said his name is Ayo Babalola. Joseph Ayo Babalola. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph Ayo Babalola. I heard a story. They said an angel came and gave him yam to eat. My question is, Joseph. Where is the remaining yam? I need to eat too. When we pray, a time we get into this meeting, witnesses will come down. Oh my God! Listen to me. There is nothing new. There is nothing new. 
nothing. Solomon said, what has been is what will be. And that is what will continue being. If you want to answer in a depth in prayer, you need to eat a yam. How can somebody kneel down and pray till his legs we 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 bring burrows in stones? God, why am I joking with my life? I'm joking with my life. So I need to lock me in a room for hundred days and not open the door. Until I see God, I will not. I don't need to see your face when I've not seen God. There is a determination with which a man touches something in God. It's not just that you are praying, but you are determined either something happened or I happened to something. God, by your mercies, it's not as if I'm forcing you, but I'm saying by force, I must touch you. God, I'm not forcing you. By your mercy, but by force, I will touch you. Because my life will be meaningless if I don't touch God. Finally, number two, two, we are going to pray for one minute. Face to face. In the next one minute, the prayer is simple. Lord, I labor for food. I labor for the bread that cannot die. I labor for the bread that can keep a man in perpetual pursuit of God. I labor for the bread that can keep a man in perpetual fire. I labor for the bread that can keep a man standing. I labor for the bread that can keep a man in his full strength as he journeys to Horeb, the mount of God. I labor, I labor, I labor, I labor. Say, now,
Jésus est seul. 